Hey guys, today I want to do a quick uh, tutorial on how to make your own two-part alkalinity solution. Uh, this is for all you reef tank owners. And this is basically all you need. You're looking right at it. Two, two boxes of uh, bake, Arm & Hammer baking soda. Actually, you can use whatever food grade baking soda you can get your hand on. These are the one pound boxes. Uh, they cost about 60 cents each. And for this, to make a gallon of solution, you'll need roughly two of these boxes. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to about 350 degrees. Two and a quarter cups baking soda. So we got our two and a quarter cups spread out evenly in the pan. Now I'm just going to place it in the oven for roughly an hour. Now you don't have to worry, uh, you know, if you leave it in there for longer, it really is not going to make a difference. And even if you set it to a higher temperature, even if it's 400 degrees, uh, it's better to go longer than to go shorter with this. So I've taken the baking soda out of the oven. It's been in there for about an hour and 10 minutes. So I had it at 350 degrees. And I have a one gallon container here. I filled it up to about here with RODI water. So now the next step, is I have a regular large pot that you would use for making sauce or similar. So I'm just gonna pour the RODI water in here. And I'm just going to turn the stove top on about medium, medium high. Okay, the first time I did this, uh, I didn't know any better. And I just filled the gallon container up with RDI water. And I started trying to slowly add the baked baking soda. What I ended up with was a huge clump of baking soda inside the gallon. And it was really a pain to break apart inside there. So I'm just heating this up. I'm going to let it heat up a little bit. So I'm just going to slowly start adding in the baked baking soda. So we got it all in there. Just mix it up a bit. And you'll see, see this is a electric stove, so it takes a little bit to get up the tent. Right now, you can see it's been clumping inside here because this water's still pretty cold. So we're going to continue to heat this and just stir it every once in a while. Now this is getting clearer and clearer as the heat is helping the baked baking soda dissolve and I could see there's there's a few small clumps in the bottom and what you can do to kind of speed it up a little bit is just kind of crush them with your spoon that'll help them dissolve uh, it's not totally necessary if you heat it up enough it's all gonna dissolve anyway um, you don't really need to get this to boiling but you just want to keep heating it until you see it's all dissolved Alright, so we're fully dissolved, and all I'm going to do now is just turn off the heat, let this cool down a bit, then we'll get on to the, the final step. Okay, so we let our solution cool down, so I'm just going to funnel it back into the container.
And then what we're going to do is just fill the remaining amount of the container with regular RODI water. Okay, there you have it. We have one gallon of alkalinity solution. Uh, and it cost me about a buck twenty. Not too bad. Should last me a while. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, more great videos to come, so please subscribe. Take care.